Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to document your API with Sagar. So if you don't know what Sagar is, you can go to sagar.io and learn about it. It's a way of uh, documenting your REST endpoint. Uh, basically what you do is uh, write this kind of uh, YML code that actually generates uh, this kind of UI for this. So in here it's a uh, example for uh, Swagger Pet Store where you can see the documentation for post, put, get and everything, how, what kind of uh, request it's going to be for post, what kinds of request body it's expecting, and in some cases uh, where uh, you know this path URL, how it's going to be defined, everything is defined over here. So you can do it in this way. This is one option, but if you're using a Spring a Spring Boot, then you can easily do this without writing all these codes uh, to generate this UI. So the way you do it actually you open your uh, project where your rest controllers are and let's say this is a typical rest controller where you have get mapping get mapping for all stuff like that so in this case it's a uh, gradle project in initially you have to add dependency for swagger so let me just first add the swagger version and add these two dependencies over here so it's going to be a compile uh, dependency so let me add a compile block over here and within that the so i got to a spring fox and so i got to ui so let's import the changes next go to the application enable swagger Then first you are going to create a method for getting the API info. So it is going to return API info. Here we are simply returning a new API info with some parameter of course. Starting with title, you can give it any title, maybe bookstore then description sample description then the version so it's maybe 1.0 or whatever you like then maybe your url for terms of uh, terms of services for now i'm just keeping it empty person to contact so some email address and then license license type and finally the URL so API info part is done now for uh, getting this documentation for your uh, book controller you need to create a bean So it's gonna return the docket with some parameter of course. So it's going to be a documentation type uh, swagger2. Then we're gonna do select APIs request handler selector dot base package so here we're gonna say the package name by writing get class dot get package dot get name next we're gonna say for what type of path it should document so for now we just want to uh, document for all paths then we're just gonna build it and finally add our API info
and that's it now let's run it and see what happens so our documentation is created it's actually in a fixed URL which is localhost I believe this one my port is going to be 8080 so it's this one uh, as you can see the documentation is done with your information bookstores description uh, the contact email the license and everything uh, if you go to the book controller you can see all the documentation is done automatically without you have to write any code like yaml code like this so it's all done for you but uh, we can improve it a little bit so rather than typing it manually by ourselves we can create a controller in our application so let's create that controller over here we can create a controller from a new file but that's not necessary Now if we just rerun it, and we go to the root, it should automatically send us to this URL, so that's much better. And now the problem is for home controller, it's showing it as well, but we don't want that. To remove that, it's pretty simple, we just add one annotation. and restart it now it's only showing one controller and its related documentation so that's all uh, for documenting if you want to add like a header you can do that as well uh, from your docket bean for that you need to create parameter maybe you want to send uh, like authorization header for your request so you can do that easily by doing making a parameter like this you can add some description then the model reference what type it's going to be of course it's going to be a string what is this parameter type it's a header type parameter So is it required uh, if it is always required you can set true for now I'm gonna set it false and finally build it now to add this to the bin it's also very simple just add global parameters and your parameter so it's not going to be a parameter it's actually going to be a list so let's do that add it into list and, and it's done so let's restart it now you can see for e so there is auth parameter available now you can send some value with uh, this header if you want it it's up to you so that's all uh, that's all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you liked it if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below of course the code is going to be available on github and the link will be available on the description below that's it bye bye